What's up everybody, welcome back to The Heads Project, I'm John Ordalaza and today we have a dual Funko Pop unboxing for you guys today. We're gonna be unboxing two Funko Pops from the Marvel series What If, it's an animated series that debuted on Disney Plus last year, didn't review it. It was it was okay. Like I, I have to rewatch it though. I'm not very keen on rewatching that show. Maybe in the lead up to season two, I might do a review for the first season. But nonetheless, I am unboxing two pops from characters that I really like their designs of in the show. So I had to have them in pop form. It is the Doctor Strange Supreme and the Watcher Uatu. I think his name is. So stay tuned for this unboxing. <laughs> If you guys have not checked out my trailer reaction to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, go do that. It's on the channel right now. It's got something similar to uh, Doctor Strange Supreme. I'm not sure if it's going to be actually him that shows up. Could be an, an, a variant within a variant because, you know, variants are just going wild in the MCU right now. Nonetheless, let's get into this unboxing. I have quite a bit of Marvel reviews. Uh, I reviewed just about every single Marvel movie that came out in 2021, like Black Widow, Shang-Chi, Eternals, and Spider-Man No Way Home. You can go check those videos out. So, look at that. Alright. So, first one is wrapped all nice and neat with this tissue paper, it looks like, or... I don't know what kind of paper that is. Oh. I love when they secure myself. Oh, and it's in bubble wrap, too. Look at that. Get out of here. So, if you guys uh, have been around the channel for a little bit, you probably might have saw my uh, video I put out for the integrated Spider-Man suit Funko Pop for like Spider-Man No Way Home, and I was expecting that pop to be this one, and this one got massively delayed. This is supposed to come out in December or before that, I think. So people probably have already unboxed this on YouTube. I'm just getting around to it because I just got it. But here we go. There we have it. There is the Doctor Strange Supreme from Marvel's What If. It's basically like a like a purple gold color scheme he's got going on for the cape. I, I forget if the cape has like a name or something. I don't think it... The Cloak of Levitation. Yeah. They haven't given it a name though. I feel like that's coming though. Of course they did a Funko Pop unboxing of four Marvel Pops and the T'Challa Star-Lord was one of them. Uh, that one is the only one that came first. I ordered three. They are all coming at different times. Luckily these two came together so that was really cool. And yeah, this is pretty awesome. There's a Captain Carter as well. The Hydra Stomper, which is what uh, Steve Rogers uses when he doesn't get the Super Soldier Serum in the show. Uh, Gamora, daughter of Thanos. She's got like the giant dual bladed sword that Thanos wields in Endgame. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I picked up just the two cool ones that I thought looked the best in Funko form, you know. I don't know, I just really like Doctor Strange's like whole attire. I really like that. And come on. Uatu, like, he looks dope. <laughs> he looks dope. But let's let's open him up next. Alright. Let me know down below in the comments like your favorite episode of What If, you know? There were some that really blew me away. Others I felt like had cool concepts when you like saw them in the trailer and they were teasing them, but then they just kind of felt like they were treading the same steps of the film almost. And the characters who were supposed to be variants of the ones we saw in the films just felt like they ended up going down the same path as they ultimately would in the movies. Nonetheless, no, we're going to save a review for What If Season 1 later, sometime in the future. Here's a Watu. Look at that. All of them are different, dude. They always they put them in freaking bubble wrap and then wrap them in tissue paper. Or they put a cardboard box within a cardboard box. As long as it's protected and not damaged, I'm a happy camper. Oh, here we go. Uh, Uatu the Watcher. I'm pretty sure his name is Uatu, right? Am I saying that correctly? It's a U A T O Uatu, or U A T U. I, I I don't know, but he looks really cool. It's just called the Watcher. I love his outfit, dude. When he throws down with the uh, the Ultron. Oh, that's right. I have an Ultron. I, I um, pre-ordered the Infinity Ultron. Is that what he's called? It's the one where Ultron gets all the stones and he's just cleaning house. Dude. I'm pretty sure he has the Cloak of Levitation, like the traditional red one. And he's like the villain of season one. Like I, I, I'm pretty sure I pre-ordered that, but it's definitely not here. So, uh, yep, yeah, this is pretty cool. And the same thing with uh, 
It's Doctor Strange Supreme. I'm uh, probably getting a little too carried away with the Funko Pop collection, but it's just fun, dude. Like, they look awesome. And anything that just looks dope enough to put on display around the house, I will do that because it's just awesome. Like, I have the Shenron right here. He's still chilling on my desk. And I have the Ecto-1 with Trevor from Ghostbusters Afterlife chilling over there. Like, I love these pops, dude. Like, they're so awesome. It's, it's almost better than collecting an action figure. You know, like, action figures are really cool and I want them as a kid. But Funko Pops, man, it's like... It's like that child wonder mixed in with like a collectible for an adult. It's just the perfect blend of adulthood and childhood, especially with Funko, because they love to put detail in their Funko Pops, their vinyl figures. So if you guys want to stick around for the rest of the video, we're about to get close and intimate with these Pops to check out the intricate details that they love to put in these Pops. So stay tuned. All right, guys, it's time to get close and intimate with the Funko Pops from Marvel's What If, The Watcher, Uatu, and Doctor Strange Supreme. So let's start with Strange, real quick let me know down below if you dug dr strange supreme that was probably one of my favorite episodes because it was it was dark af let me tell you that uh, look at that dude he looks really dope let's let's get this plastic off real quick i'm gonna set this box off to the side and we're gonna gently pull him out that's right you may have just noticed that this is a bobblehead vinyl figure of Strange. It's a little more, it's a little lengthier than his normal goatee. It's more sleek, like in the normal Doctor Strange. And he's got the, uh, kind of like the eyeliner almost, but it, it's like, it's meant to put some emphasis on his eyes to give him that evil methodical look. And yep, all Marvel and Star Wars Funko Pops come in a standard uh, bobblehead fashion. They're all bobbleheads. And I'm not sure any other ones that do bobbleheads. I'm for all all I know is the pops that I have that aren't Marvel and Star Wars. They're generally all static, non bobblehead Funko Pop vinyl figures. So I don't mind. I prefer it just stay still, <laughs> but that's still pretty cool, man. But check this out, dude. He's got a lot more going on in his outfit. That it's just crazy, dude. He's got no uh, no stone or anything like the Eye of Agamotto. But this cape, I'm digging more than just uh, the basic red cape, honestly. Like, I love the black with the gold trim going around it. Looks dope. And it kind of, like, goes in the back of his head. Looks like devil horns almost. It, it looks pretty cool, dude. I like it. I like there's a, a wider variety of colors than the normal Doctor Strange. It looks like he just has, like, blue and red with a, a hint of gold somewhere. But... I love the colors in here, and I loved how he looked in the animation, dude. So it was really dope. This I just had to grab it, dude. It's it's a dope thing to have in your collection. But let's set that down. Also, really cool. It comes with a stand. And move on to Uwatu real quick. Now, Uwatu is a Funko.com exclusive. I had to go all, all over there to find him. And I believe I'm getting the Ultron from Amazon. Oh. Set that right there for a second. Let's take him out. Uatu was voiced by, if I'm not mistaken, Jeffrey Wright, who plays Lieutenant Gordon in the the Batman film that has just arrived. And if you guys haven't checked it out yet, I have a spoiler-free review of the Batman on the channel, so go check that out. But let's get a closer look at this Uatu, and if you would just focus. So check this out. This is Uatu in his battle armor when I believe when he goes head to head against the Ultron with all the Infinity Stones. And dude, like that was such an epic moment, dude. I love the subtlety of the Watcher in the show, like how he's narrating, but he's also he cameos in the in the distance in the backdrops of certain scenes until he's finally you know, he's pulled into everything and he gets involved in the last few episodes and he suits up, dude. Like Uatu is dope, man. <laughs> like there were there were Watchers that were shown in a post credit scene or a mid credit scene of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. It showed uh, Stan Lee in like an astronaut helmet talking to like four watchers and that was pretty dope but it, it was played off as kind of a gag but this is the real deal dude. This is the watcher. This is him going at it 
and doing his thing. <laughs> it just looks dope, dude. And he's got the pedestal, like, or like the rock he stands upon. Like, that just looks dope, dude. You, come on. Th that looks dope. I'm probably going to put this on display because he just looks so cool. And if there's a 10 inch figure of this out there somewhere, I'm mad that I didn't get that because I should have got that because he is a figure that should be that big, I feel like. <laughs> so, yeah, there you have it, guys. Those are the two Funko Pops from Marvel's What If. I got to say, Uatu the Watcher is probably my favorite dude. He's got he's got the best color scheme. I'm gonna set him down real quick. <laughs> he's got the best color scheme, honestly. Dude, blue and gold, you can do no wrong with that. Gold just looks amazing when you get it done correctly. And this is like my favorite shade of blue. I, I love it. I mean, the, the cape is almost borderline purple. Like it's inching towards purple, but the suit, it's almost like a, a royal blue. And I dig that, dude. I love it. It's awesome, but hey, Gotta show Doctor Strange Supreme some love too. So let me know down below if you're gonna be picking up any of these or if you have already because I, I know my, my Strange was definitely delayed for sure. And I just ordered this because I, I didn't even know this, this was a thing. So leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new guys. Be sure to stick around for the rest of the week because there is more to come.